Hey, what's up, coach? If you don't know who I am, my name is Ben Neighbors. I own MakeMoneyCoachingSports.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you 15 business lessons that I've learned over the last 15 years of being self employed. A lot of coaches that are private trainers that reach out to me that don't have a business yet, or maybe they do have a business yet, or they do have a business already, uh, they always ask me, you know, what are some things I've learned along the way? And I wanted to make this video and try to condense this down to some really key lessons I've had to personally learn that have helped me a lot. And these are also things that I have helped other coaches with uh, since they've started working with me. So I'm gonna go through this piece by piece. I will tell you, watch this whole video because later down the road, like between lesson 10 and 15, these are gonna be really, really valuable things for you and your growth. All right, let's get into it. So number one, Number one, in my opinion, this is so hard for so many people to do, and it's a superpower. Staying focused for 10 minutes is a superpower now in 2024 and beyond. And here's the, here's the reason. If you do anything, if you're working on one email out to one prospect or, or sending an email to get someone to sign up or sending a text or creating a flyer or creating an ad, you have to be focused to go from idea to completion. A lot of people right now get so distracted and they have a bunch of ideas, but there's zero execution. So when you stay focused for a long period of time, you are going to have a leg up over anyone else in your city. It doesn't matter to me if they're a better coach or a better trainer than you. Long term, you will have a very significant like big business when you know how to stay focused uh, a lot of coaches that get distracted in this industry they just end up spinning their wheels and they're not going to improve over the next five years they're going to just be on to a different idea that's not executed yet so get focused and really have your head down all right number two and this is something I've talked about in the past, but if you build it, they will come. If you watch the, the movie with Kevin Costner, Field of Dreams, you know what I'm talking about. But oftentimes people think, okay, if I just start a business, I'm going to get clients. And I will tell you, that's not, that's not the truth. A lot of people start businesses that don't get clients. Uh, next time you drive down the highway or drive down into a strip center, notice all of the places that are out of business right your training business is very similar to a restaurant very similar to a dry cleaning place doesn't matter it's like you can't just start a business and expect to be successful so the way i applied this in my life when i started my business i had to really change a lot about who i was at the time i was very shy very introverted very afraid to put myself out there and that hindered me a lot at the beginning but the only person getting my own way was me all right and i legitimately thought if i build it they will come but that is that is not the truth so with this lesson you need to realize if you build it and you hunt <laughs> they will come all right people will be attracted to your business when you put yourself out there. And there's so many different ways to do that. I will talk about that more on upcoming videos here on the YouTube channel. All right. Number three, if you want to make more money, you need to have a better service. This is very blunt and straightforward, but a lot of coaches that reach out to me about, Hey, I want to charge more for the service. When I look at their service, they're just offering lessons. That's all it is. There's nothing beyond lessons. And the average person in the United States that is in this industry just offers lessons. So if you want to separate yourself from the pack, you need to have a better service. You need to be offering a program and not lessons. And here's how I apply this for my business. Okay, When I was doing one-on-one -on -one training at my peak, and when I say at my peak, that was like around... 2014 2015 i was charging 800 dollars per month for one-on-one -on -one training and that included four one-on-one -on -one sessions per month and i had a bunch of stuff i offered into that outside of the actual session that made it valuable enough to be 800 dollars per month 
right? And from my knowledge, like no one in my city, no one in my state was offering anything like that. It was a very unique level of service. And I did that because I knew if I wanted to have more of a premium type of customer, I had to have a service that was really, really top notch, really, really good. I had to have like this incredible service set up for clients to experience that I knew it didn't matter where they looked, they were not going to find it anywhere else. And that's how I made more money. It was, I had to create a better service. All right. So for you, it's a question you need to ask yourself. Well, how can I make my service better? If I can make my service better, guess what? I can charge more. And it's not going to matter to me what market you're in. I have seen this work in lower income areas and in really high income areas. Does not matter. The better service you have, more people are going to pay for it. All right. Next one here. So private training is built off relationships and results that you achieve with your clients. And I'm going to give you this example. Okay. So for me personally, when I started training goods, I would go, I'm, I am not exaggerating when I say this, but I would say at least three out of the four weekends per month, I was out watching my clients play. I would go to their games. Like at least two days out of the week, I would be out at practices. Now, what was I doing at these games and practices? Well, I was showing my clients that I actually cared. And it's crazy. Like when they see you show up like that, it makes them really, really appreciate you. And it also gets them to tell other people about you. Okay. So relationships are so important. And it's like this. When, when we think about like the long-term view of this business, you should be thinking this way, where if you have like an eight-year-old that's in your program right now, if your program is set up to develop a player that's like that age until they're the age of 18, that could be a client that is with you for 10 years. If that one client is paying on average $2,000 per year, that one client is worth literally $20,000. And that's not even including any of the camps, clinics, other stuff that you offer. So that could be like a 30 to $40,000 client that is with you. If you have a good relationship with the player and the family and going to games, going to practices, showing that you care, that is the difference maker in this industry. A lot of coaches won't do that because they're too busy. They don't have their schedule set up correctly. They don't want to go do that. They'd rather just chill at the house and, and go do whatever. But relationships are huge. And the way you get results with your clients is when you get them more committed. All right. And it's hilarious. I, I, I like to share the story. Um, and I've, I've shared it multiple times on my YouTube channel. But at the beginning of my business, my clients were not committed to anything. They were only committing to the day and the time that... They said they were going to show up. Like it wasn't, hey, Monday at 4 p.m. We're going to meet for the next three months. It was, hey, it was me saying, hey, when are you guys free to train this week? And then they would be like, oh, we're we're free on Friday at, at 7 p.m. And then I'd be like, okay, great. And then I would see them, and then they would pay me. It is impossible to get results with clients like that because they're not actually committing to anything. They are treating you like a Domino's delivery boy, like for training. Like you're just showing up to train whenever they are wanting to do it. And there's no set schedule. So the way you get amazing results with your customers is when they actually commit. And when they commit, it's easier to get results because you see them on a regular basis, all right? And it's also easier to have better relationships with customers when you see them all the time, all right? It's really hard to have good relationships with customers and good results unless the, they are just way more committed, all right? And that is something I personally can help you with if you're watching this video. All right, next one. And this has changed my life, okay? So, and I, I know you're, you're gonna hear other people on the internet say this, uh, but I'm gonna explain it in a way that hopefully can really, really make sense to you. So the best investment uh, you can make is into self-education. So like, I'm not gonna rip on college when I say this, but like what I learned in college has nothing to do with my business. Even if I got a marketing and a business degree in college, what I know now is vastly different than what 
students learn in college about marketing and sales, all right? And the way that I have gotten things to the point where like, I'm never going to need to work for anyone for the rest of my life is because I have invested my personal time, my money into self-education, to learning skills. So I am not afraid to see someone that's ahead of me and, and put my ego to the side and say, Hey, I want to learn that. And I don't want to take two years to learn that. I want to take maybe four weeks to learn it. And I'm going to be willing to pay this person because they have already proven success in whatever that thing is. And I have done this over and over and over again. And the first time I did this, I will never forget. Uh, I invested in going to a marketing conference. This was in 2010. All right, 2010. I remember I was making like around two to $3,000 per month. And I... Like, honestly, I was like so happy, so proud of that. I thought I was crushing and because I didn't have a job, like I was just doing private training lessons and I was really happy with that number. But I remember going to this conference and this guy I sat next to was younger than me, making $20,000 per month. And he was just like very casual about it. He was like, he was like, Hey, how much are you making? I told him and I was like, felt really good. And then when he said that, I was like, wow, like there's different levels to this. And we were at the same event. And I remember going to that event and coming home. When I got home from that event, I implemented like probably 10% of what I learned, but it was the, the top 10% of, of what I needed to know at that conference that made a huge impact on my business. And like within 90 days of that event, I was, I was already doubled my business. And I remember even after that, I hired a, a consultant, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentor to help me with my sales and help me charge more per customer. And that was a really expensive thing. I, I was literally paying uh, $200 for 30-minute calls. That was a lot of money to me back then. And if you're watching this, you might be like, wow, that's a ton. Uh, but again, it's a great investment. Right is into self-education, learning from people that are ahead of you. That to me is like one of one of the things that if you wrap your mind around that, you can speed up the process of being self-employed for a longer period of time than most people because you're learning, learning skills. You have to have skills in this business to not only succeed, but to be able to do it for a long period of time. And you have to always be willing to learn. All right. Next one here, all right, don't ask for the same sale twice. And here's what I mean by this. When you close a new customer that ends up working with you, if you have to go back to them in a month from now and say, hey, do you guys want to keep working with me? Like you, It's like you having to resell yourself over and over and over. And that's not sustainable. That's annoying for you. Trust me, it's annoying for your customer. They don't want to keep getting pitched on why they need to work with you. So make the make the same sale once, meaning when someone signs up, they're on a recurring bill with you. You're not talking about money. No one wants to talk about money after the first time, right? It's annoying. So don't make the same sale twice. You make way more money long term by having customers that just know this is how i do my business once you sign up you're going to be billed every 30 days or once a year or once every six months or half today half in 30 days like don't need to keep going back and forth to people talking about money once they're a customer all right next one the deal isn't done until the money is in your business checking account i see this all the time with coaches they tell me hey i'm running this camp this summer and i have 30 people saying that they're going to be there or actually they coaches don't even say it. They say, I have 30 people signed up and I'm like, great. How much are you charging? And they're like hundred bucks each. I'm like, awesome. So you already made $3,000, right? And coaches will tell me, no, like they're going to pay when they get there. And then I follow up with these coaches after the camp and maybe 30% of the people actually showed up. So they just lost a ton of money. So don't consider anyone a client yet until the money has hit your business checking account. And I saw this happen with me several times and I'll just tell this quick story. So there was a day that I was running a clinic and 
it was raining. And I remember when I was running the clinic, parents paid me cash. They were put money in my hand and they were like standing in a line. Like I felt just it, looking back on it, like I, I would never do that. But that's that's what I did. I didn't know any better. But parents were standing in line. They would give me cash. I took that cash. I put it in my Nike backpack. Um, I, I ran the session. The weather was terrible. It was raining. And I remember after the session was done, I cleaned up everything, put it in my car, and I drove home. And right when I got home, I opened my backpack, and the money was gone. And it was like 500 bucks. And I remember I like drove back out to the field and it was, it was pouring at this point. And I remember just being out there like searching for, for the money, like an idiot. <laughs> right. And I didn't find it. So either someone stole it or it flew out of my backpack. I couldn't find it. But the thing is it didn't hit my business checking account. It hit my Nike backpack. That was a $500 mistake. That sort of stuff happened to me all of the time. Or people would say, "Hey, we're we're gonna we're gonna show up Friday at four, and we're gonna sign up for a four pack of sessions," and they wouldn't show up. So I just lost a bunch of money. All right. So this business, long term, if you want to be self employed and have like a legit business set up, the deal is done when it hits your business checking account, not when it hits Venmo, not when it hits uh, cash when they see you, not when someone gives you a check. It hasn't even gone to your checking account yet. All right. Um, and I know a lot of coaches that do checks. They lose checks all the time. They have to ask their customer to write new checks. Like as a customer, that would be so annoying. All right. So you want to be able to simplify this sort of stuff. If you don't have that set up in your business yet, reach out to me. All right. I want to help you with that. Next one. And man, this is a really, really important thing. So if you do your due diligence on YouTube, you'll, you'll hear me talk about certifications and like why you don't need to have that in order to succeed. Okay. But I've realized this more recently, All right, Certifications, they can help you like you learning is great, but they're not going to define your success. Like for example, in soccer, that's my background. That's the sport that I'm in. I could go get certified. I could go do a bunch of coaching licenses and spend my weekends doing that. The reason why I chose not to do that is because I knew for me with what I wanted to do with my business, I was very clear on, well, I need to get really good at technical training with players and I need to get really good at talking and communicating with players. Could I learn that by getting a certification? Probably, but I wanted to invest my money into like business mentoring, stuff like that, stuff that's going to help me grow my business, not stuff that's going to maybe help me become a better coach. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is so many coaches tell me, hey, I'm not going to start this business until I get certified or, oh, I need a better certification if I'm going to charge more. I promise you that is not true. I have hundreds of case studies. Most coaches that I work with right now that are in soccer, basketball, any sport, they're not a certified coach. They are good at training kids, period. All right. So it is not going to define your success. I can promise you that it can help you, though having knowledge is good. All right. So, uh, let's see here. All right. Yeah. This one's, I mean, one of the biggest lessons I've, I've learned early on in my business. So if you want real freedom, like you want to be self-employed and, and never have to, to work for anyone, you need to have more structure and discipline than someone that works a nine to five job. Typically, if someone works a nine to five job, they have like a set schedule that they have, like they have meetings, they have, uh, certain times they're going to be able to eat lunch. Like, and a lot of people that get to me that say they want to get away from their nine to five and they want to have a training business and they want to do it full time. I always say the same thing, like however disciplined you are right now and you're nine to five, you need to be probably more disciplined. And more structured when you have your own business because you might think oh if i have my own business i can stay up late i can sleep in and like sure you could like you could do those things like you could be the laziest person in the world and, and still find a way to make money but to achieve true freedom in my opinion you have to be a very disciplined person 
that has a regimen and a routine. Because if you don't, it's very easy to just get lost in the clouds, especially in this business, because uh, you could be just focusing on the wrong things all the time. And you might just be feeling like, oh yeah, I have my own business. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. And I will tell you to have a long lasting career, something 15 plus years of doing your own thing, you have to be very, very disciplined. And at the beginning of my business, I can just verify, like I would wake up early. I've always woken up early, but I would wake up early, but I wouldn't really know what to do. Didn't really have structure in my day. Like someone texted me and they want to go eat lunch that day. Sure. Be gone for two hours and, and come home and work on something. That's not a business owner. Business owner is going to have like a calendar set up. Like I have Google calendar set up. That is Google calendar is my boss. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I'm doing every second of the day. I know when I'm shooting these videos. I know when I'm talking to coaches. I know when I have, we are, we have our mastermind calls. I know like everything is just down to the second. And if you don't have things set up like that right now, you need to turn into that type of person. All right. That's how it is. All right. That is just how it is. Next one. It's one of my favorite ones. So only get feedback from customers or someone who has legit done what you are trying to do. Okay. Spectators don't get to have an opinion. They're, they're not in the same game as you. They're not running your business. Uh, so like, I'm going to give you this example. I remember very early on in my business, I was pretty stubborn and sometimes I would seek out people to get advice from that have never ever in their life ever run a business. They don't, they did not know the risk of taking, of starting a business. Um, and when I would get advice from these people, it's like they, they would tell me things that at the end of the day, they would be telling me things that they believed. And let me give you just like kind of an example. So if someone hasn't tried to do something, they're going to kind of get you to think the way that they think. And it's very different when you talk to someone different that has already done the thing that you're trying to do. Or if you're getting feedback from people who are actually voting with their wallet. So this is why I always tell coaches that we work with, don't get feedback from Joe Schmo who has never done anything with a business before. Get feedback from people who are paying you and get feedback from someone who is ahead of you, period. Outside of that, there's zero, uh, z zero spectators get to have any sort of influence on how you run your business. And this is why, again, like a lot of coaches are afraid to post on social media because like they're going to see negative comments. They're going to see all this stuff. And I like at the end of the day, if they're not paying you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. All right. So spectators, they do have an opinion, but they don't get to have one with you. And. I have treated everything I do on social media that way. And anytime I try to seek out advice or, or help or feedback, reach out to a customer or reach out to someone ahead of me. And that has served me very, very well. All right. Next one. And I have this written on my whiteboard and I post this almost every single day on Instagram when I get done with my day, but it is do the work with an attitude of joy and people like doing business with people who enjoy what they do for a living. So like, let me give you this example. If a parent meets you in like at Starbucks and you bump into someone and they have a kid that plays basketball or soccer, whatever sport you coach, and like you're very cold, you come off very short, like you don't want to be talking to them, that one interaction, like sets the tone for your next interaction with that person if you ever meet them and it also sets the tone with people that they know that might know you they'll be like hey what's wrong with this guy and the opposite is they leave the interaction where they feel very positive and people like doing business with people who enjoy what they do for a living all right if if you're gonna go pay anyone to help you with something like you're gonna want that person to be pleasant to be around and this is why when you do the work with an attitude of joy, no matter how hard the work is, if you have a joyful mindset, 
it's hard to come away from interactions with people where they're going to feel like you're a negative person because you you are a joy to be around <laughs> so think about this when you're dealing with your customers and i can tell you like i'm not perfect with this lesson uh no one's perfect with anything uh but this is one of those things when i speak to any coach that ever reaches out to me i know at the end of the day whether they're gonna work with me or not they're gonna know that like man i, I i'm happy to just even talk with them and if you're watching this and you talk to me Hey, you're probably laughing right now because because you know that's how it is with me. Like you, you know I'm happy to speak with you. All right, so do the work with an attitude of joy. All right, we got a couple more. And again, really really big one. So you don't know what you're capable of until you start spending time with people way ahead of you. All right. So I told you that story earlier about how I went to that conference and I was making like two three k and that other guy was making like twenty k. Like that is just one example. But they, I'm going to try to give you a couple of things to think about here. When you're making a certain amount of revenue, right? In your mind, you might be thinking, okay, well, man, this is great. And maybe this is all I'm ever going to do. And what happens is you start to box yourself in because now you have put on limiting beliefs about yourself. Uh, because you're either not spending enough time around other people that are ahead of you, or maybe like you just don't know what's possible, right? But it's like this with anything. It's like this with money. It's like this with health. It's like this with relationships. It doesn't matter. Like when you start spending time with people that you want to be like, you start to become more like that person, right? It's pretty simple. And in our mastermind program, for example, there's a coach that we work with that posted uh yesterday he had his best month ever made twenty four thousand dollars in one month in one month 24k most coaches would kill to make twenty four thousand dollars in like four or five months but he did it one month and when he first started working he was making three thousand dollars per month and this guy has already made $100,000 since January 1st this year. And, and I'm shooting this video on May 30th. He's already made 100 k in the first half of this year. He's probably going to make 200 or 250 k this year. And why am I saying this? It's because when he joined our program, he was around people that were ahead of him. They pushed him. They motivated him. They He started to realize, wow, like these guys are not different than me. Like They just have implemented things that I haven't done yet. And now he's one of the guys that, that other coaches look up to. When they see him post that, they're like, man, like, I can do this too. So when you are around people that push you, you realize, okay, I am capable of doing a lot more. And I, I would say that's why like, I'm very proud of the, the community that we've built because like, there are people in there. Uh, there are a couple of people in there that have made millions of dollars in this industry. which It's crazy to say out loud, but that, that's the truth. Uh, and there's a lot of people that are doing six figures. There are people, some people that are starting, some people in between. Uh, but when you are around people that are ahead of you, it is crazy how your business changes because it gets you to think different. Because at the end of the day, I am no different than you, right? Maybe I have more experience than you do. Maybe I have uh, been in the business longer than you have. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're all the same. But there's different levels. And when you are around people at a higher level than you, it's way easier to really believe what, what is possible because you're around that person all the time. All right. Next one here. One of my favorites. And I know I say that about the last couple, but you can be the best coach in the world. If no one knows who you are, you don't get to eat. And specifically, you don't get to eat dinner. <laughs> all right. And I saw this personally in my city. Okay. And I've... If you've watched a lot of my YouTube videos, you, you hear me talk about this, but I have seen so many coaches in the past, private trainers in my area that were better trainers than me. They were had a better coaching resume than me. They played at a higher level than me. They, uh, like if you went to go watch one of their sessions, like it's probably better than mine. Like, and these were, some of these guys were friends of mine, right? But 
just because they were a good coach, they believed that they were just going to get clients because of that. And I've even some, some guys that were like former pro players think that like, oh, I have a business, so I'm just going to use coach up and lessons.com and I'm just going to call it a day and people are going to find me and I'm going to make good money doing this. It's false. It is false. You can be the best coach in the world. If you're not marketing, if you're not selling, like you don't get to eat, you don't get to do this as a business. And I will tell you, this is one of the biggest lessons I learned early. And I played at like a small D2 school in college. I had a decent high school career. Uh, some people knew my last name in the area. That had nothing to do with my training business. That did not mean I was going to get clients, right? It meant I needed to market, I needed to sell, I needed to put myself out there. And I knew that it didn't matter how good of a coach I am. I had to put myself out there to force myself in front of people versus people just getting to me casually. And I will tell you, that's one of my strong suits is marketing. And I'm not the most outgoing person in the world by any means. But if you want to eat, you got to market, got to sell. If you want to do this as a, as a career, got to be good at marketing, all right? Any of the six-figure coaches that I work with right now, six or seven-figure coaches that I work with, they, they are all good at marketing. They don't shy away from that, and they're good at sales. So it's like if you choose to ignore that, this business isn't for you. No business is for you. You, you can't stay in business unless you're making money, all right? Next one here, all right? And this is, this is so key. So the reason why you're in this business has to be deeper than just making money. Like yesterday, I got hit up by a coach who's like, hey, I want to start making $10,000 per month. And we got on a call. And within the first five minutes, I, I realized, like, this guy doesn't even like helping kids. And I'm like, hey, honestly, dude, like, you, you shouldn't even be in this industry. He was like, if you want to go make 10K a month, just go get a different job. Go get a high paying job, learn a different skill. Cause like if your goal is to make 10 K and that's all you want to do, like your clients, if, if you're not building trust with them, if you're not building a good relationship with them, if they're not getting results, it, you can have one month where you pop off 10 K. Anybody that watches any of our content could go make $10,000 per month, like off our free content. Right. But can you do that multiple months? And if, if you're just so money focused, this is the worst industry to be in because this industry is all about actually caring about kids, helping kids get better, mentoring kids. And it's got to be deeper than just making money. And if, if it's just surface level, I just want to make as much money as I can. I promise you it's not nothing's going to work for you because you're always going to be hunting money. You're not going to be hunting, actually helping people and the, the difference is when you really seek out helping people, you end up making way more money. <laughs> so it's funny how that works. But people who are short-sighted, they just want to make money, they, they get burnt out of this industry so fast um, because they're focused on the wrong thing. All right. And last one here. All right. It's one of my favorite Bible verses. But pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done. And you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. Galatians 6.4. So if you have a Bible, go read that. If you don't have a Bible, go to Google. Print that verse out. Frame it on your wall. And what that's going to teach you is instead of waking up in the morning and going to social media and saying, oh my gosh, like this person is doing X, Y, Z, or this other coach in my area has all these clients. Like... Pay attention to what you are doing, your work. Don't pay attention to what other people are doing. The, the second you do that, your service gets diluted. When you hone in on what you do, what you do gets better. Like if you're just getting rattled every single day on social media by seeing what all these other people are doing and comparing yourself, you will not be successful. Like you could use that as motivation. Like, man, like I want to get to this person's level. Like that is different than what I'm talking about. But too many coaches compare what they do to other people. And the sad reality is most coaches that have huge social media that I've ever spoken with, I've talked to some of the biggest names in the industry. 
All right, I put that in air quotes because some of the guys that you may be looking up to right now are not nearly as big as you think. It's that that's how it is. And some people that have some of the smaller social media followings are absolutely massive. <laughs> right. So pay careful attention to your own work. All right. That is one of my favorite, favorite verses. All right. Now, if you watched this video all the way through and you are like, yeah, man, this, this looks cool. Like Ben, I, I want your help. Well, if, if that's you, I would love to work together with you one-on-one. -on -one. And what I do now is I have a four week one-on-one -on -one program where I help you create your high ticket coaching offer. It's an offer that's between 2k and 5k where <clears throat> clients are either paying up front or they're on a contract with you. And when we do that, what happens is we start to do the things we talked about in today's video, which is you are going to get better results with your clients. You're going to end up having clients that respect you way more, that show up on time. They want your service. They're going to be getting you in front of other people that also want your service. This is the best way to grow this type of business is by having a higher ticket offer for clients that are really, really committed. And at the end of the day, it's more fun to work with clients that are more bought in to your program because you're never worried about the money they've already paid and they just want, they want the help. They want to be there. All right. So that's one of the things that we do. The next thing we do is we set up a simple application sales process from your website and social media. So we build a simple funnel to get people that are interested into becoming customers. All right. And then the next thing that we do is we create a new and simple way to get more local customers. So we <clears throat> do that through a very specific uh, new system that for some coaches, they're getting 10 to 20 new leads per day. And I can tell you, if you're getting 10 to 20 new leads per day over the course of the month, that's between, you know, 10 times 30 days, that's 300 leads per month. Don't need to have a lot of people to actually sign up with you to be really successful, <laughs> right? So uh, that is a really, really cool thing that we're doing that I'm only doing with people one-on-one -on -one right now. Uh, because there is some technical setup. Um, and lastly, if you want to create permanent lasting effects that you'll see year after year. So example, some of the coaches that I've worked with, they've gone from like making like $40,000 per year to a hundred thousand dollars per year. And when they get to hundred K, they realize the glass ceiling is off. And some of those people will just continue to grow and scale. And a lot of that is due to some of the tweaks that we made in their business initially. And those have permanent lasting effects on their business long-term. And they continue to use those things. Like example, I talked with the coach yesterday who I worked with four years ago, <clears throat> right before COVID hit. He made one switch with his business, one switch. <clears throat> and that one switch, he still does every single day. And that one switch got him a client that literally paid him $4,000 up front. He has, he's gotten so many customers since 2020 that have done that one little switch that has resulted in hundreds and thousands of dollars within his business. All right. So these are things we do within four weeks. All right. Now, if you are wanting actual help, text me at the phone number you see there. It's also going to be right below in the description. Uh, just text me there and text me the word HTC to 210-960-5771. I'll get on a quick call with you see <clears throat> what you're doing, see if we're a good fit. If you want to see hundreds of results of coaches that I've already done this with, go to makemoneycoachingsports.com slash results. You can see it for yourself, you, video testimonials, hundreds of results there. Um, or check me out on Instagram at Ben Neighbors. I post results every single, literally every single day. So if you want to chat with me, reach out. I'd love to help you. Thanks so much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you later.